Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KeepAdro.com here to bring you another gear review and today we're talking about these which are the Zeiss Terra ED 10x42 binoculars. Backing up, full disclosure, never been impressed with binoculars. Had a bunch as a kid, they were usually pretty cheap. Had them in Boy Scouts, stuff along those lines and what it came down to for me is what do I want this like two pounds of glass in my backpack for? I'd rather bring snacks and they never did anything for me. And then moving forward into the military in the Marine Corps, here's these like five pound Steiner binoculars, which were probably really good like 20 years ago when they first got issued out. And by the time they got in my hands, they're all beat up, scratched, can't see anything through them. So fast forward, now as I start to get more and more into hunting, one, I realize the intended application where they really shine, and two, actually get turned on to what you're paying for with quality. As more and more I've gotten into using binoculars, especially a good pair of binoculars, I've come to realize it's kind of along the lines of a trigger in your AR. You have a standard M4 trigger and you use that for a long time. All of a sudden when you drop in a really nice Geisley super semi-automatic enhanced trigger in there, you're like, wow, like this is awesome. Huge quality difference, right? So binoculars, you use crap ones for a long time. And then when you use good ones, you're like, okay, this is where the money's going. Like, this is the quality. Like, that's what I'm looking for. Conversely, you hand someone a pair of binoculars and they look through them, haven't looked through any other pairs of binoculars and are like, oh, that's cool. How much are these? And you're like, oh, this is the price. And they're like, are you serious? Because again, there's no frame of reference. These Zeiss Terra ED 10x42 binoculars are great. Back here, you have a nice big adjustment knob for your focus. Really comes in handy, especially if it's cold and you have gloves. Easy to manipulate and it's really smooth, doesn't get stuck, anything along those lines. The 10x42 is in reference to 10 power and then up front, a 42 millimeter objective lens. I find these 10x42s to kind of be the sweet spot. A couple different respects, one, as far as 10, they also make an eight power. I like the 10, that extra magnification, glassing hillsides. And in addition to that, kind of size and weight, about four and a half inches by five and a half inches, weighs a little over 25 ounces. Not super heavy, not super big, kind of that perfect size. And depending on how you want to carry them, it obviously comes with a strap. You can go throw it on there and let these guys rest. Or what I like to do, I don't usually have the strap on there because I find it gets in the way and I'll just keep them right in front in my Hill People Gear kit bag, really handy right there. Or if I'm driving around, it's a lot easier to not have that strap hanging off of them when you're trying to pick them up from the center console, something along those lines. Some other notable information with these Terra EDs is water resistant, not waterproof. On their site, it lists them as water resistant to 100 millibars. No idea what that means, looked it up. One millibar is basically in reference to 33.4 feet underwater. These will not go that far. 100 millibars is basically 0.1 bar. So what it really comes down to is don't submerge them, but they're good for weather events. Rain, snow, stuff along those lines, don't dunk them. As far as temperature operating range, good from five degrees Fahrenheit up to 140. Should be good for most instances. Maybe don't take them to Antarctica, but overall pretty robust binoculars. One thing I did find interesting is these binoculars have a twilight factor of 20.5. What does that mean? So twilight factor is actually kind of a antiquated metric for measuring optics binoculars as far as how much detail you can see in low light. Not necessarily how much light gathering capability, that actually hinges on the coatings of the lenses, but how much detail under low light you can see. The way they come to that is a formula. It is the magnification multiplied times the objective diameter lens, 42 millimeters. And then you get the square root of that, which is about 20.5. What does this mean? Basically, you can see pretty good detail even under low light. That isn't in respect to how well these gather light. And I will say though, they do a really good job. 
And that's where, that's where you really get to appreciate binoculars. Any type of optic is kind of that wolf light. Before dawn, after sunset, like everything's kind of really dark, lights going, but you can still see because with good optics, they do a great job of gathering light. These definitely do that, and I'm really pleased with them. Investment. You get yourself a good pair of binoculars, you're gonna be using them for years. And depending on how you wanna carry them, it also comes with a pretty cool kind of semi-rigid hard case. On the one side, there's belt loops. You can throw it on your belt, slide it through webbing on your pack, however you wanna have it, and zipper closure, as well as this little magnetic top. And when it opens, it doesn't flop all the way open, so these things aren't gonna tumble out smash themselves on some rocks. Pretty handy depending on how you want to carry it. As far as the price point, usually around $400. You can get them through Amazon as well as some other places, but talk to the guys over at basecampsite.com, spell with a K, and they were cool enough to offer me a number of discount codes for these. So if you want to pick some up, reach out to me first and I'll get you a discount code. Pretty much beat any other price you can probably find them for. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.